So we're going to do a love reading for Cancer today to get to see more of who this person coming into Cancer is. Who is this amazing person? Is it a Taurus? Is it another water sign? What kind of world is this person governing over? Because I know that Cancerians are manifesting great and powerful love in their lives. Because they do work on themselves and they're very intuitive. Cancerians are queens and kings. Not knocking any other signs, of course. So let's just get started with the reading. I'm going to shuffle because it might take a while. And then come back with the messages that I receive. Thank you for tuning in. If you like my readings, don't be afraid. Don't be shy about subscribing to my channel. I'll be uploading videos every single day. On not just Cancerian signs, but other signs as well. All the other zodiac signs. I know I'm really predominantly focusing on Cancerian right now. But that's just how it is. This is what I'm feeling I need to be doing at this point, which is like doing a lot of Cancerian readings. Like it's needed. There's so much room for, <laughs> for Cancerian readings right now. So thank you for tuning in. I'm going to continue to really shuffle, get some messages on the table, and um, come back and show them with you. But, uh, hey guys, welcome back. It's about 10 minutes later that I've shuffled and I'm here. I'm about ready to present you with your reading, your messages. Consider their person's energy together in love. What are they manifesting? What are they creating? Oh, thank you. The energy between cancer and their person in love, what is it like? Gosh. It feels like work. All right, let's get it started. It feels like both of you came together to do work in a greater purpose. So even though it is true love, it's real true love. It's as if I don't see a lot of love like, ooh, I don't see the Ten of Cups energy where it's a lot of celebration and joy and creativity I are fun. I don't see that. Even though it's true love. It is true love. So let us get started. For your energy cancer in love. I feel like, whoa, you feel fabulous. This, like in love readings, this feel like a, a fabulous card. Like I'm fabulous. I feel good. Miss me with that. You know, miss me with that. Miss me with that. <laughs> I feel like you will sl you will swing this sword and like matrix style really. Anything comes at you, you just swing, swing, swing and cut. Like miss me with that. You're powerful. You're strong. You're confident. So this is your energy. Powerful, strong, confident. Mm. Like not tolerating crap really. Expressing yourself well, being beautiful, fabulous. And so I feel like, even though I don't always appreciate reading this as a third part energy and stuff like that, it feels like that this time. But it feels like, miss me with that shit. Like, who has time for you people? Like, you know? You don't even pay attention to the, Maybe these feelings would hurt you before. Of third party people talking about you, people is that you're you're okay with that no because it's like you've alchemized the situation where if I wasn't worthy or important, people wouldn't be gathering to talk about me. Why would people be laughing at me and I stand alone, I'm so powerful, I don't need to be in a circle in a group to feel complete. I'm fabulous, like miss me with that, miss me with that, I'm fabulous. You just go off in the sunlight and just beam beautifully. Oh my gosh. So it's like, miss, I don't have time for this. 
I'm fabulous. I keep saying it. I don't know. This card feels like fabulosity. So this is your energy. And oh, and because you're so fabulous, the universe is like, here you go, my dear. Here, my darling. You're being blessed every time. People will soon start celebrating in honor of you, actually. When they really see you, you know. They'll be like, why was I laughing at her in the first place and she's a queen? So this is your energy. But you won't mind. You'll welcome them back in from time to time. They'll probably come around to you for um to ask questions. They don't phase you. Can you see these cards well? They don't phase you really. You're, it's like you're a queen. And now they have to come to you. When before they were trying to talk about you or hurt you. Get into your business. Get into your romantic life. It's like your, your focus is really on the, the cup's energy. You're fabulous. You're sitting on your, your throne. Feeling good about yourself. Oh, there you go. So these people around you are thinking that they can get to you. They are really, I feel like they are hurt inside. They feel inadequate. Oh gosh, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that really, but I understand what you're saying. You're not really focused on this because you do see people from a, a higher perspective of, you know, you love, you're a Cancerian. You know how to, you have space. You know how to hold space for even those that seem insensitive around you. Because you know who you are. Yes, you when you when you're in your power, Cancerian, the, you, you're blessed by the universe. This is your love coming in. All right, this is what you're looking forward to. Not pain from the past and petty things anymore. Because you, feel, this is how you feel. You might be sitting like this. Looking stern, but you actually feel like this. You feel co you look composed on the outside. That's why people think you're so. Like sometimes people see you and you look like you're bragging, like woo woo, I've been gone with the wind, fabulous. <laughs> I did that reading the other day, where it felt like you were friggin' gone with the wind, fabulous, cancer. I th you're still in that energy, all right? This is you. This is how you feel. If you're not feeling that way, it's maybe because you're focusing on this. But be, know that the universe loves you when you are in your power. Because you're beautiful, you're motherly, you're caring. And you have boundaries and standards. Let me see if I can feel a little bit more about you, queen. You're a teacher. I feel like you're a teacher. You are... Sitting on your kingdom where, wait, it's like, I don't want this reading to be super long, but I may only read your energy so far. But you're very articulate, very, um, like you know what you want out of life. You sit powerfully, you know what your aim is, you're very focused on what you want to get out of life. I'm going to leave it there and so you're calling in for now you know so you're calling in the best from the universe i feel like i want to say you're on top of things you're sitting on top of yourself you have your emotions governed you're well you're wealthy you know how to even if you don't have physical cash right now and all the evidence of wealth you know that you are powerful in yourself and you can create wealth around you so this when you are in your power this might be you, the universe blessing you with all the valuable things that you could ever want, including a relationship. So this is your energy. You're sitting pretty, you're looking good, you're feeling fabulous, you're being blessed by the universe. People might be talking about you. That's okay, you don't. You are not phased by that because at the bottom of the deck here, you're the queen. You're getting offers of love all the time. You might not always be paying attention to them, especially the ones that don't really suit you. You're like, boy, bye with that at this point that's how you feel fabulous you know you have a lot to be thankful for oh 
Oh, I'm getting something off of these three cards, but I don't want to go into that right now. It's going to be too long. Your person's energy now, Cancer. I shuffled and I received the Hermit card. Normally they say this is a Virgo card. I'm not sure why exactly. But this feels like it's the Hermit. And the Hermit, hermit is a crab. I feel like this is a crab. I feel like this is a water sign. I feel Scorpio from this even. I feel like this is one of the, the fish or Pisces. The fish that is way out in the deep blue ocean. The one that has the light, their, the light on their heads because they live in the darkness of the ocean. The hermit normally represents being in the, in the dark, going inside of yourself. But this, I feel like this fish, you can see its light from afar because, and it's coming into you. I feel like it's being guided into you. This is still your person's energy. The three of wands coming into you, directing its, its intention toward finding you over here. Looking out, ready to, to be on that journey, to be nourished. I feel like they know you'll be good for them. So this could be a Virgo, a Pisces of the deep dark ocean, or another Cancerian, or a Scorpio. So any water sign or a Virgo. That's your person coming in. Your person could be older than you or just more mature. And not in, like you're less than them, but or your person could be older and or are very, very mature. I feel like a a soul, an old soul person who has hidden virtues or solace in themselves. Someone who is mysterious grounded stable your person could be dark-skinned as well or you could be dark-skinned too um your person is very graceful and kind-hearted very connected to the divine also your person listens to messages from the earth from the surrounding vibrations your person feels the earth so it could be an earth sign, but I don't feel like it's a strong, strong earth sign. I feel more powerfully water. This feels like powerful, like this person is so connected to info, like the depths of wisdom and knowledge. A person could be a leader, cancer, coming into you. Like someone that people look up to. Like an old time healer that people go to for things. That could be your person. But they're, they're on their way. They're seeking out ways to find you. Maybe they have lived their life single for a while. Or something of the sort. But they now know what kind of connection they want in their heart. So this feels like their heart is pulling them to you over here. And you are ready. You're ready to receive, to love this person. To nurture them, heal them if they want healing, to just hold them. I feel like this person just wants your wants to be in your embrace, to be held, to be held by you. Really, maybe they've been out in the cold. If you're in a relationship with this person currently, it could be that you and your person have a little bit of conflict or something, whatever it is, a misunderstanding, and your person is really sorry. They want your love and your forgiveness. They love you. They actually look up to you and feel embarrassed that they're not with you. You know, if you are, if you, this is a person that you have around you already. So it's like different energies reading here. So it could be a new person coming into you or someone that you have been with that wants to be with you. They're offering themselves, their heart to you. You know, they want your, your forgiveness, your, your love. They want your love. But you kind of have... You're not welcoming any and anything right now into your life. Because you've been blessed by the universe. You feel fabulous, Cancer. You feel like you deserve, which is right. You deserve the best of everything right now. Because you're fabulous. You want everything. you like... Not selfishly, but you know what you deserve. So this person cannot come to you the same anymore. So they're in themselves thinking... If it's an old relationship, 
they're they're thinking contemplating here god give me strength how can i go on this journey and not fail i want to reach they want to reach your heart you know so it could if it is someone new they really like it is your heart there's an an energy that is calling them I'm going to say the alchemist again. It feels like very, the, the alchemist feels very powerful in my in my Cancerian readings. So it feels like there's an energy that passes by them if it is a new person, right? And they just get this feeling of wanting to drift toward you. That's your person. Uh your person don't your person also got the 6 of cups equal give and take this person will love you a lot and they if, if it is someone who's already in your life it is true it's like one of those blessed relationships it's so beautiful there might be misunderstandings because one might be older than the other cancer but you guys might have different ways of doing things you know you guys might have grown up differently or whatever it is but there's so much there's love this person loves you. I feel soft. A soft love towards you. It's as if they, if they could just tell me to tell you how much they love you. They just want you to know how much they love you so much. It might not be always perfect. They might not know how to give to you. They might not know what how to show you love really. But they do love you. They see you as beautiful. Like everything it's, it's it's a connection in their heart space that they haven't held before they haven't held such a love cancer you know it's so beautiful so they're 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 ready to be equal, like to give you equally what you want they're ready to be who you want them to be really and not just for you really but mostly for you <laughs> but they they're ready to to come to a place of contentment, being that person for you, doing what you want. If it is a person that is new, this is all that they're coming with. A person that is ready for you, that will give to you equally, that will be by your side, that will hold your hand and go for walks, that will buy you flowers, take you out to the movies. A person that will just randomly sh give, show you acts of kindness and love gosh yo that's beautiful and we get the chariot which is a cancerian energy card so as this is i feel strong taurus in this energy strong very strong taurus i got this card at the end of your reading the last love reading we did that a person was coming into you but we didn't clear your person's energy at all we just said you're getting a strong person coming into you who, who might be a taurus or a cancer so this is more about who this Taurus is, I feel. Our Cancer. This person is... I don't know how... This person is so powerful. So powerful. But they still look up to you as if you are their power. Is that this person has been moving worlds and carrying worlds and... You know, governing worlds and moving water. You know, making shifts on the planet. But then when it comes to you, they don't know how to act as if they don't know really how to get to you, how to treat you, how to talk to you. <laughs> so if your person is taking a while to come in, it's because they don't know really how to reach out to you. They don't know. So they're looking for ways. They're asking questions. You know, they're going around with. They're looking for guidance. It could be guidance in, within themselves or actually going out and asking how can I do this or him how can I get this person to see me that I love them so much and I'm coming this person might want to get married to you and so they're consulting their closest dearest friends or spirit guides this is guidance they're guided to come into you they have stepped into a place of value of meaning of life purpose of diligence of of discipline of commitment of feeling committed they're ready to they're they're guided to that place in themselves of wanting to feel committed to you 
they're ready to get married to you possibly some of you might be get married getting married to this person this might, might already be your husband cancerian you know beautiful reading you're worth it they are worth it too because i feel like this person is powerful like but it's just really the love a love that they've never f had to give before or be a part of so they're sort of unsure really I, there's so much strength and power in this it's like they've never met someone like you before where they have to give love like this or you know like be vulnerable or take out on dates <laughs> but they want to give you everything look at this they come with every. They want to. It's like to know, to know. I give you everything, Queen. I am here as everything I am. They bring their pets with them. I'm just looking at this. I'm like they bring even their pets. They they bring everything to share their world with you. They're ready to get married to you, but can you trust in this person? I feel like that's what you're wondering. Can you really? Is this person that's really? Is, it, is this person ready for you? I feel like you love this person, Cancer. That's why you're you're like almost ready to welcome them in. You don't feel like you're better than this person, really. It's just... You're, you're just temperance, like, patiently looking or observing to see that this person is ready. Because you don't want the games, you know? You're not... Mm -mm. You don't want someone who's going to come and then realize they're not ready and then go again just because they're shy or, or they're just not prepared. Your person knows this, knows this as well. So they're preparing. They're sensing you and what you want. They know you're not messing around. The energy between you guys, it feels like work. That's the first feeling I got, work. But it is beautiful work that one can look upon and see the results like you planted some corn and now you're seeing corns on your corn trees and it feels beautiful to actually see that you put in the work and it's prospering there's prosperity in your energy in your guys's relationship you can say you might want to start a family if you don't have one yet you might want someone who focus more on the family instead of out on work and business so this person really has to know how to settle down to be with you because you're looking for maybe something that they haven't been able to give yet. So it's brand new for them. So that's why it's work. But it is flourishing. You guys both will look at the energy between you two, what you're producing, and be grateful. You know? So that's why I don't feel like a lot of... <laughs> it don't feel like a lot of love and romance even though this person does take you out and treat you nice and you do give nurturing advice you both have your world to live in you both have your maybe your careers your purpose living through who you are i don't know if you guys have melted into each other as yet when it comes to combining two purposes maybe you guys need more time together but so far, so good. You're looking and you're seeing the work. You're seeing the corn on the trees. You're like, well done. And they're like, well done. You guys feel proud of each other. You guys are appreciative and thankful of each other for actually sticking it through. So it's a beautiful energy on the low. It's not extravagant, but it's very beautiful to see two people put in work and, and watch it. Watch your relationship flourish like meeting each other's needs be stating clearly what you want from one another and really working at giving each other that okay that's the energy between you two more energy between you guys is this i feel like somebody might feel tired or something sometimes I don't know. I, I can't feel... This card feels like watching over what you have created. Like there might be some sort of a watch, like micromanagement energy that needs to be dissolved, really. 
to let go and allow trust, allow each other to to work in their own way. Yeah, it's like the the crab wants to hold. I feel like maybe this is Cancerian's energy that you want to really know every know what's going on. Maybe this person has hurt you before, or you're just being more cautious. But you're kind of micromanaging a situation, but it's causing you headache and tension. If you just let go and allow it to flourish, the really the energy between you two, I think maybe just pay more attention to how you feel, Cancer. Pay more attention to what you bring. Pay more attention to flourishing yourself internally. Pay more attention to the energies that you're holding on to that you can let go of. Or you're just not control because controlling breeds tension and then allow it to f allow the, the, the energy between you to you guys to flourish well the other cards I received were the the page of Pentacles which is I feel like you're letting go it feels like letting go and it's like once you let go of micromanaging something it done, it has a space to to rise and to grow to be to be true to itself because no one wants to walk around on eggshells and this is you once you let go how you feel different can you see the difference in not really micromanaging a situation or a person but just let let it go release there's something to be released okay an idea, belief, a belief system, but you're releasing that. This feels like suspicion, <laughs> but you're releasing that. Release it. Go out in nature and send it off. And it's like the minute some things that we hold on to, we're, we're seeing them as burdens. Alchemy is coming back again. How to turn lead into gold. How to turn burden into light. Turn your burden into light. In, in Twin Warriors, the, the message was free yourself. Lay down your burdens. You might be carrying something that it makes no sense to bear. And then the minute you realize, just put it down. It's like it's not your fault. Everything happens for a reason. You might be blaming yourself for something. There's a space, there's space in you to let it go. You see, there's, these things are sort of blocking your space to be free. And out here you can see there's so much space and then that brings value. Maybe express yourself more, Cancer. If you're not, if you're doubtful or you have suspicions, speak how you feel. Let it out. How you feel is valuable. Don't hold on to it and feel like you're going to be judged. I feel like your person is ready to hold you so much. They're ready to hear you, how you really feel authentically. So if you say, I'm very suspicious of you or your actions. What are you over there planting? What are, what are you really planting? I'm so suspicious of you. I think they will in turn feel good to know that they can care for you too. It's like, <laughs> I feel like it feels good. It's like they want, to, they want to, it feels good for them to know that they can care for you as well. To help you to feel lighter. To feel better to help you to learn how to release things because they have things to teach you as well that's why you love them that's why you've connected with this person is because your energies are very similar he this person does have healing healing techniques of their own that they can share with you and then you will rise look at this also in your energy I received in your energy for the, the relationship that you guys will share or is sharing the devil card which is a release i feel like the devil is like hey hold up stop there hey let me tell you something about this devil this devil is like love i can't explain it it's like something bad that happens to you to show you love in a sense so the devil will show you what you're holding on to. That's not good for you. 
when the devil pops out it's revealing something toxic that you need to let go of so the devil will come and show you these things maybe it might hurt you when the devil shows it to you because that's his way right but at the end, you're going to be released and feel free. Any negative attachments you have to certain unserving emotions or ideas, beliefs. This could either be you or your person because no one is perfect. The devil is saying, stop it. Even the devil wants love, you know. It's like a strange situation and that's why he took this job. He took this job because it is hard work. Not everyone can be a devil. Not everyone wishes to be a devil and do the devil's job. I also got the star. Which makes me feel like uh, there's alignment. You guys are supposed to heal each other really. There's, there's a cure. There's cure. I don't know who is sick. There's cure in the both of you. Whether it is a mental sickness or physical sickness, there's healing in you both. Or there's that one's healing. Like nurture each other. Nurture the aspects of you that need healing. Be kind, be open, be expressive. And don't forget to really connect to the divine for messages, for feelings. Be grateful. Wow. Just be so authentic. You notice this person is naked. It means be beer. 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 Whatever you've done even in the past. It can be re replenished. Wash it away. It's like this person is to help. The, the en energy in your relationship is to really rejuvenate both of you. From devilish, devilish tendencies. I received the Hierophant. Which is like justice, just like this. As if the gods, it is as if a wrong had been made right. It is as if somebody called and say, I forgive, let them go, let them be. Now the movie, um, there's a movie where, I don't remember, people that wear hats and they control the world. I think Justin Timberlake is in it and Emily something she has an accent emily blunt so basically people control they control other people's destinies but both of these people wanted to be together but it wasn't written in their destiny but they were fighting hard to be together so each time they came to be together the world would pull them apart because the people governing over them is saying they don't belong together it's not meant to be but this feels like somebody just come and said, you guys have been working hard or fighting hard or, or this relationship is so deserving. That's why I feel like the devil is here because the devil wants strength, like a strong force of love to be present. That's why the devil is here. He's like, the, the Hierophant is saying, let them be, let them be, let them go. <laughs> let them come together. They want to come together. Give them the tools that they need. <laughs> so you're, you're getting help along the way from mysterious people. Like these might be the people that they're sending out. If it is money that you guys want to really strengthen your marriage or whatever, it's coming through. You're being blessed. Thank you for that message. So your cup is full. I think I got this for your person's energy. I forgot to bring it up. They're coming. They're coming to you with an offer. They feel strong and confident about their approach this time. So we'll see what happens. I said, I said earlier that they might want to marry you. Okay. All right, Cancer. We are, uh, we are already at almost 50 minutes. And I did say I'm going to keep this reading short. And this is the longest reading. All right. So there's true love here. So we're going to look at the plain cards. True love, you're focusing on the Queen of Swords again here, manifesting your Taurus. This feels like a Taurus. 
somebody who feels good about themselves, somebody who's wealthy, has been working internally so that they glow outside, similar to you. It's like a match that has been made because you work on yourself internally and you attract externally. This is what this person has been doing too, working internally so they're attracting externally. You guys are in favor of one another. That's your love life. A lot of blessings and wealth, stability, a lot of dreams being fulfilled, a lot of guidance from the universe. You have the three of wands. The three for me represents guidance from the universe. It's like the magician energy. Like there's interference in your relationship from the heavenly realms for it to come through. You also got the three of pentacles, which is coming with um, asking for guidance. Maybe you're asking your angels for help to find value or something like that. I'm going to ask for any other messages. Both of you coming from a strong place of love within your heart. It isn't a facade. It isn't what one of these nowadays relationship. It's like it's not a karmic relationship. It's it's a true love. It's true love. Thank you cards for such a splendiferous reading. Any other la last messages for Cancerians in love? Cancerians person. Any other strong verb? profound messages so that last message one card nine of swords this feels like torment like you can't sleep i feel like it's over it's over now like you've you've understood why certain things aren't coming into you it's because of the thoughts the the the, the the feelings that you've had that were playing over and over in your life, constantly tormenting you. But you've, it's like you've waken up now to that. You're ready to get up out of that energy. It's like you're ready to throw the sheet off of your legs and jump out of this bed that is filled with torment. You're, you're done. You're up. You're done with this life of this cycle of feeling drained and hurt. Who would they, you're going to be like, who was that person in the end, you know? Who am I suffering so much? So this, if you're still in this feeling of torment mentally, physically, possibly, know that this is what is blocking your real person from coming through because you're still holding on to energies of hurt and it's kind of preventing them from entering your heart space. It's preventing your frequency from sending out messages to them that you're ready because you're not. If you were ready, you wouldn't be stuck in an energy like this. So in order to be just and fair to the person that wants to come into you and the person that your heart wants to let in, you have to get up out of this bed. Fold the sheets with a smile on your face. Feel good. Play some music. Get up. Fold up the sheets. Dust up the pillows. Run your hand across the bed as if it is done. It is done. This feeling is done. You did not make me. You can only make me stronger. This is you getting up, deciding to be stronger. Not to be cut by swords, but to be stronger. To be more defensive, more protective of your heart space. To, to know who you are and stand in your power. To be fabulous. So sometimes the heartbreaks that we go through causes us to want more for ourselves. So even though this might feel like a negative card to you that is coming up at the end of your reading, it's just how do you perceive it now? Do you give thanks for the heartache of the past that's leading you to be in your true power, to feel fabulous? It did not break you. Many people could have been broken by such torment Deciding not to love again, not to let anyone in. But it is time to fold, get up out of this bed, fold the sheets, smile. Especially, I feel like smiling is really important to healing. Run your hand across the bed when it's made to feel that comfort of it's done. Any other messages? The cancer is in love. You won't be sleeping alone anymore. <laughs> In torment. Last messages, last shuffle. Thank you. Last shuffle, last messages. Last shuffle, last messages for Cancerians in love. 
You see that card that came out? I'm beginning to feel why did these cards come out? To end the reading. Why? Why am I getting these horrid looking cards to end the reading? But I feel like it's it's about strength and there's another word. It's like a willpower to break free. Willpower to break free. It's as if you can literally shift your hand and the, the, they fall. Whatever is tying you back or tying you down will fall. And a veil will be lifted from your eyes. And this, I think that's, this is it. I feel like they're trying to tell me that this message, this love reading will kind of help to clear up these feelings for you. I feel like that's what it's saying. So if you, if you look at these cards and you get a negative feeling, it's saying that this message overall, you being in your power, the universe being on your side, you feeling fabulous, you not caring about nothing that happened in your power, like this, like what? You think you're going to keep me from sleeping? This is like it's your past. It's saying this reading is is for you. So you have hope to feel better and to know that something strong is coming in your way. Going to get up out of this bed and be done with it. If you need more healing, I am providing healing messages for across different areas of healing on my channel. Like how to heal a broken heart. I'll be doing these little healings for Cancerians. These little healing messages for you. If you're finding it difficult to come out of this energy. You can. I believe in you. These cards are telling me that they believe in you too. That you deserve love. Like even the devil is on your side. I can't explain it. It's like it wants good for you because it knows how powerful you are in love. And even though we say the devil as devil, the devil is love. Who else will take that job? It must be someone who loves to really take that job. To point out your flaws in such a hurtful way. <laughs> so the devil <laughs> points out your flaws in a hurtful way sometimes. Last messages from my cards. Cancerians in love. Leave them with a last message of beauty and strength. What do you have to say? Say something. You're saying it's done. It's seal, sealer. Seal it. Seal it. Seal it. Seal the message. Please. Confirm. Oops. Anything? 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 We can do anything. We can do anything. <laughs> We're alchemists. We're magicians. We can do anything. Focus. So focus on the life you're wishing to create. What you'd like to live in instead. We can do anything. Anything. We're magicians. We can do anything. Anything? Yes. Anything is possible. Any and everything. Anything. Dream for the new world. Focus on the life you wish to create. And I have been giving messages of self-healing. So love yourself a little a lot more cancerian you have no idea how much i love you and how powerful i see you you are amazing work on your values your core values all right so cancerian if you want to heal i'm going to i'm i will be tagging the pre, or just watch my previous video of how to stop caring what people think about you and that will help you to establish your values in yourself and know that you deserve more than something like this the minute you wake up to realize, I deserve more than this. The feeling that I'm having in my chest right now is not what I want. I want to feel happy. Some, sometimes bad things happen so that something brand new, a brand new feeling that we never even dreamed of can flourish inside of us. 
So you, you so use the bad experiences to flourish a brand new feeling in you. Find your value, work on yourself. Stop caring what people think because you love your friggin' self. All right, you're amazing. I love you. And that is your reading for today on love. You have marriage. You have someone who's working hard for you, ready to come in. You have your heart being open. You have the universe blessing you with this person that's coming into you. It's a gift. The last love reading I did, this was how it was laid out. Literally. This was the end of your reading. I didn't clarify this. But this was it. You welcoming something from the universe. And this was the, 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 a marriage. Or a love. A strong love. Alright Kenta. Thank you so much for watching my dear. I hope all the best for you. Stay strong. Much love. Go out and get some sunlight. Remember to subscribe to my channel please. It will be much loved. Much appreciated. So helpful. in um, For the growth of my channel. And for me to keep on doing these wonderful messages. Which I love to do. And until next time, Cancer, what good?